In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a Facebook business page, plus give you a few tips on how to optimize your page to help you build your online presence for your business. Hey boss friends, it's Tisha. I teach new and aspiring entrepreneurs how to use online business tools to help you create your own business and become your own boss. So if that sounds like you, go ahead and hit subscribe so you can join the boss tribe. Facebook has over 2.5 billion users. This gives your business plenty of opportunity to build a community around your business. Plus, Facebook is absolutely free to use. So there's one less thing that you have to pay for. Plus, if you are new and you're just starting out, you may not have the financial resources to hire someone to create a website for you, or you may not have the skill set to DIY your website. Your Facebook business page can be an alternative to having a website for your business. Once you've created your Facebook business page, then you get access to Facebook marketing tools, which includes researching for your target audience and researching your competitors, using Facebook pixels for tracking. And then once you get all of that analytical data, then you can turn around and create ads to promote your business. Now, let me go ahead and show you how to set up your Facebook business page. Okay, so to get started with creating a Facebook business page, you first must have a Facebook personal page. So if you have not set that up or you are brand new to Facebook, you will need to do that first. Once your Facebook personal page is created, you can go to the top right and click on the square. It says menu and then go down and click on page. And it's going to bring us to the option to create a page. So the first thing that you will need to do is to title your page. So I would suggest that you use your business name for your page name. So for this tutorial, my name is gonna be Luxury Candle Co. Now you see this green check that popped up if your name was not available, the green check would not appear. That's okay. I would suggest just try to change it up a little bit just so you can get the green check. The next section is category. This is basically what category does your business fall under? And this is required. So you do have to select at least one. The max is three. The next section is your business bio. And I highly recommend that you take some time to think about your business bio. You can change this at any time, but I've seen it where people put minimum effort in the bio, but this is where you can really optimize your page. So my first tip will be to, for your bio description, you want to make sure that you include who you are, what you do, and how you help your customers or target audience. And you also want to make sure that you include some keywords to help you with your search engine optimization, which is also known as SEO. You can use a free tool like Keywords Everywhere to help you do that keyword research. Now again, this is something you don't have to do right at the beginning, but you do want to make sure that you create a bio that is going to help with your search engine optimization. So once you have your name, your categories, and your bio, you hit create a page. Okay, and now you have created your Facebook business page. After creating your business page, the next step is to set up your page, starting with your images. So the next tip that I wanna share with you is that you wanna make sure that you upload high quality photos for your business page. Starting with your profile picture, it should be something that is recognizable like your logo or something that relates to your business. Now, I know that the profile picture is a circle image. However, you want to make sure that you upload a square image. The best size that I found to use is a 1080 by 1080 pixel size, and that is the same size as an Instagram post. You can use a tool like Canva to help you create your profile picture and your cover photo. Now, I already have some images that I've created, so I'm going to go ahead and upload those. Once you've uploaded your cover photo, you can drag it so you can position it just how you want it to show. 
The next tip that I want to share in regards to your cover photo is that you, again, you want it to be a high quality photo. You don't want a cover photo that's full with text that can be very um, distracting. You just want a nice photo that includes your business tagline. The next step is to add your contact information. As you add your contact information, since this is a business page, you want to make sure it is your business phone number, business email, and your website. If you have a physical location, you want to make sure that you include your address so people know where they can come into your business. If you have a set of opening and closing hours, you want to make sure that you select that here. If you don't like an online business, you can just select no hours are available. Next, it's time to customize your call to action button. So you hit edit action button. And Facebook gives you a variety of options that you can choose from. You can just select what best benefits your business. So what is the action that you want your customers to take? So I'm going to select sign up now. Click next. And then you simply just paste your URL to your lead magnet or your opt-in form. Once you hit save, it's going to bring you to your Facebook business page. Most people would stop here, but I'm going to show you a couple of things that you need to do. So the first thing I want you to do is go over to the right and click on these three dots. Scroll down to the bottom to page and tagging settings. It's going to bring you to your page and tagging in here. This is where you need to go and change certain information. So depending on how you want people to interact with your business page, you can determine who has the ability to post on your page and what others see when they post to your page. So you can edit that. You can also edit who can see posts that you've been tagged in. So I would suggest going through these and tailoring this to your business. Now, I'm not going to show you how to do that because this will make this tutorial super long. After you do that, next I want you to click on privacy. And you want to make sure that this question, how people find and contact you, do you want search engines outside of Facebook to link to your page? You want to make sure that this says yes. And you also want to make sure that recommended similar pages are selected on. So this means when people are searching for your type of business, this helps your business get found, okay? So once you've done that, next just click on settings. So my next tip is to create a username for your Facebook business page. So from here, you just need to hit edit and type in a username that you would like for your business. And I would suggest it being the same as your business name or your page name. So you see, if it's not available, it's going to give you username not available. So I can just adjust it and it shows me that it is available. So hit save changes. It's going to ask you for your password. This is something that Facebook just recently implemented just to make sure that you are the person that's changing your information. Now you have your own unique Facebook URL, which helps with your SEO. From the settings, you also have the option to link your Instagram business page and your WhatsApp. Once you've updated all of your settings, you're going to just press the back button to get back to your business page. The next section that I want you to review is your professional dashboard. You can get to your professional dashboard by going to the top right hand and clicking on manage. And from here, you're able to see information about your page as far as like your analytics, your recent content, and any updated information that you need to see for your page. Now, as you can see, there is a left-hand toolbar. It brings you to your home page. And again, it just gives you an overview, your content, and your audience. This is insights on your page. You can see all of that information here. You can see all of your posts from the last 90 days. You can also create a post from here. Once you start having people interact with your page, you will see your audience information here. You can access your, the ad center. You can invite friends. And as you can see, it's just a list of other options for you, such as events, create a job, who has page access, 
if you have a podcast, you can connect your podcast. Again, you can link your Instagram or WhatsApp. This business apps is a list of business apps that you can integrate with your Facebook business page. And some of these apps are shown here. And you can go through and any of these apps that you are currently using, you can integrate with your Facebook business page. Next is Facebook Business Suite, which is Facebook's social media management tool to help you manage your Facebook business page and Instagram business page all under one platform. I do have a full tutorial and I'll make sure to link that for anyone who's interested in learning how to use Facebook Business Suite. So as you can see, Facebook offers a variety of tools and options for you to manage your Facebook business page. So I highly suggest that you just take a few moments and go through these options and see which ones would best benefit your business. So once you've gone through all of the tools and options, you can then start inviting people to your Facebook business page. Okay, boss friends, so that is how you create a Facebook business page. Let me know down in the comments if you are currently using Facebook as a part of your own building your online presence for your business. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments as well. And if you like this video and want to see more tutorials just like this one, all you got to do is hit that like button so I know to create more tutorials for you. Until next time, I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.